What do you do as a creative person to infuse your creative work with a spark, with new energy, with new ideas? Ah, uh, this is something that, you know, you can get sort of in a rut. It doesn't necessarily feel bad to have a basic vocabulary that you're used to or techniques that you're used to or tools that you're used to. That's kind of nice. But at some point, you kind of need an infusion of something new to kind of shake things up. As a teacher of pottery, I do this, you know, I've got my regular things that I teach and I'm, and I love it. Um, in fact, there's, anyway, I love it, but um, every once in a while I wanna shake it up. And so did this recently with this graffito workshop and now I am playing on surface design on pots, which I hadn't really ever explored fully. So it's very fun. And I'm about to teach another workshop that is about um, altering the vessel, like going off of round, hitting it and cutting it and manipulating it, busting through the circle. And um, I guess I'm, I'm writing, I'm speaking to all artists because I'm thinking about what do we do to expand our vocabulary? What do we do to stretch a little bit, to try things? And sometimes it's about trying something that it doesn't feel normal or right or or even like you want to be doing it but it gives you a little mm, a little shift in what you do or a little uh, re uh, integration in what you do one way to think about it is copying somebody else and this is not about staying with the copy right you you try something that someone else is doing and then have a number of iterations to the point where it becomes your own it becomes integrated in your own vocabulary right so i don't believe in being unique as an artist i don't really care because there's so many artists around the world and through history like to think that i'm making something perfectly unique it's just stupid <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, but I can do something that is authentic, that is true to who I am. And uh, in that process, I'm creating something that is worthwhile in my own um, development, in my own idea development. That doesn't mean it has to be unique or not unique. Right? You can take ideas from other people, from other ways of thinking, and integrate. And how it churns through your own being and then comes out as your own work, you know, you get to, after a number of iterations, you get to how it synthesizes into your own work. That's an exciting place to be. We're all part of something much larger than each of us. And so, you know, letting yourself actually have that. Letting yourself have that sense of connection and um, dialogue and integration with others while retaining your sense of personal integrity. Hmm. Concept. All right. Talk to you soon.